the sugar and this is um five coconut i use they're never too big so i put in the sugar now guys and it is boiling with the ginger but you know you have to let it boil when you're cooking um coconut drops you have to boil it you know this is my way of doing the authentic way you boil the coconut so i'm boiling the coconut along with the ginger now and it's coming on perfectly so i already put in the sugar so i'm just waiting now for it to boil down seems like you're going to need some more sugar because the thing about it you have to put the amount of sugar um despite you made you don't want it too sweet but then again you have to put the amount to hold it to bind it together otherwise you're not going to get you might be dropping them and it don't drop you have to go back over to do it over by putting some more sugar so you just have to put the amount of sugar to get it to set perfectly so this is what i'm doing now so i'm watching it to boil down to see the amount of sugar because i already use a pack of sugar to this but coconut take a lot of sugar even more than the almond drops guys as you can see now the coconut is now getting dark so it's now going down to its color look at it so it's now getting dark so I think this have at least another half hour to go so it has to thick up go right down to the city sauce become like creamy and frothy so this is a syrup from the sugar you can smell the ginger and the aroma of uh, the coconut and the sugar combined together guys you can tip a little cinnamon to it guys it's a wonderful um, little snack you can have and try not to make it too sweet but you still have to put the amount of sugar to bind it together so it has to hold together so it's coming on perfectly so guys it has to coil the banana leaf on the stove this is how you do it in order for the drops to set right you don't you just gotta put it over the heat see it right there and you just draw it along move it along so it quail and it's similar to like when you're making the dukuno where you have to quail the leaf in order to get the leaf right for it to set you know so this was done by my parents i've learned this stuff from my parents and so i'm just quailing the banana leaf in preparation to set the drops on guys so guys i want to show you now you see the syrup is forming right here getting more thicker and it's coming on so at this point you need to watch it and just sprinkle just a little fingertip of salt just a little fingertip of salt just for flavor not for taste just flavor it you know make you have a taste the taste and the salt in it you know just a little to bring out the flaky taste you know so while this is going on, I'm going to bottle up the juice now. Spread out the leaf on a flat surface like this. Because this is where you're going to drop the drops now to set. So you quail the leaf. You make sure you cut your leaf, rinse it off. Put it over the fire and the fire will quail it by dry. Because you don't know all sorts of things blow out there. So you put it like this. You quail it. And now you're waiting now just to set the drops on it. So guys, I'm getting there by the grace of God. Happy TGIF. Thank God it's Friday for many and also for me, guys. So now, guys, let me just go and bottle up my juice. Here, guys, this is what it look like. I'm coming right down to the finishing touch. As you can see, it's just a little part leaf right here to just go in a little bit more. And then I'm ready to drop them, guys. So soon as the liquid all gone finally. Just look at that and I'll be ready to start to drop them. So in the next five minutes, this will be ready to put on the set. Guys, here you have my coconut drops. Mm-hmm. Guys, you didn't know back in the days, this is what our ancestors and stuff used to eat. And you know, it's not like now where people are eating this whole of sweet biscuit and ice cream and you understand these are the stuff 
people used to make for their kids and the key to make this guys when you're making your coconut drops or any farmer drop some call it cake some say coconut cake like in the bahamas they say coconut cake is to make sure the liquid farm is all dried right out because once it's running you're not going to get them so wonderfully made they would be running and break up so you have to make sure just turn the heat down in the last part of it and just keep stirring and leave it there for a while then you're going to stir again and there right here you will have some lovely coconut cake coconut drops whatever you call it guys and then back home we grow up guys my mommy used to make um we mostly as children used to make the coconut um drops because my mom used to make the almond which is the almond we say almond back home but it's really almond and that's what our mother grows up on we used to have to go to the almond bush and look them and dry them and mommy will drop will make them sell by the quad sometime and sometime make them and sell and that will help us to eat or to send us to school or whatever we, we, we need and um, I remember when I was coming here I sell 22,000 Jamaican dollars worth of harmon by looking them and my kids then would help me and carry them my husband would help me carry the bags then because one thing he never in the part of my husband want to go pick them up but put, pick them up bag them and he will go and pick them up and this is what we always used to do guys mm-hmm so even now today I still make it even when I was living on the island over here and sometime when it's harvest time I'll make coconut drops and sell to the members of the church and then the money turn over back to the church because when I don't have the live money this is what I will do and even today now that I'm doing my little cookout you know you have to try and help yourself so this is how I was brought up to help myself Tony and I make fashion just the way you have to do because I, 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 I love to work for my honest bread I was up from 25 minutes to 5 this morning and until now I don't rest preparing my stuff for my cookout tomorrow I just have to do what I have to do real talk I just have to do what I have to do because if I don't do who's going to do it for me God give me strength you know I get health and strength from God so I just got to use it to the best of my ability and this is just what I'm doing. Now guys, I'm going to take up these drops and I'm going to just bag them. You know, I put one in each little bag. So I'm going to bag them right now. They're already cool. So when you make it, you have to turn it over. After it dry on one side, you turn it on the other side and let it dry. And then after it cool, then you're going to take and put them away. And this, when you put them down for a long time, trust me, it tastes even better. When them still, they taste much nicer. Welcome to the mall. <laughs> hello 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 guys i'm at the mall just walking around it's independence huh we're at the marathon mall guys <sighs> over there is the sports center take air Now I don't need any wigs. <laughs> the mall is not full today, guys. <laughs> You see the line on by Alive and yes, people claim that they don't have money. You see that line there? 
<laughs> Jennica, Jennica, why you don't check here? Yep, yep. Guys, we are now in the bargain center, and everywhere this girl goes, she sit down. Look at her, lazy girl. Oh my gosh. You know, if I got somebody I want to put more spoon for you, cook out, Jenny. Four dollars for this. You go to this side. You go around to the other side. <laughs> oh! This one is a 20 pound. So guys, I'm still on the mall. <laughs> There's a beautiful little waterfall right here in the mall. Guys, I feel it's not this year. Talk to my nice for coming home for it tight. Everywhere she goes, she get problem, guys. We look brown on pretty. Jesus. Let's go. You need to stop. You're not shaming by yourself, eh? If we she go, she won't go bathroom, guys. Look at her. Janika! Stop now! <laughs> you don't mean if I know that movie open? I swear I never know. That won't be right. Where are you now, Jenny? Right over there, guys. Behind me, that's the movie theater. They are now open. Right here? Yeah. The one, something the one? They have other color? No music. One. They have tablet eh? no, no. Huh? <laughs> so we are now looking at tablet for my grandbaby. <laughs> you can't get any air now? You're not finding any? Will you buy the charger, Jenny? Yes. Charger now, charging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't tell me what for the other. You're bright. You're bright. 
Yeah, guys, we're still on the mall and we're heading off. <laughs> Come on, Jen. <laughs> it's not